Okay guys, I got a quick story time because I am borrowing my cousin's phone and I gotta hurry up and give it back to him. Getting really late. Um, June has been like a lot. Like everybody's birthday is in June. I went through my 40th birthday, then um, my parents' 41st anniversary, then my cousin's birthday, then another cousin's birthday that fell on Juneteenth. Um, Y'all let me know what your feelings are about Juneteenth. Um, I did actually, back in the past, used to celebrate it. Um, not really celebrate, but they used to have Juneteenth concerts and stuff. And there was this um, Ger Geraldine. She used to host um, this big concert every year um, for Juneteenth celebration. And she also had like this... Um, it was a museum, Wells Built Museum, and I donated some artwork to that museum um, back when Michael Jackson passed. Um, actually, that anniversary is coming up really soon, the passing of Michael Jackson. But um, yes, um, after that, it was Father's Day. And then tomorrow is actually my daughter's 20th birthday. So it is just so much in June. Actually, my aunt, her birthday passed, her 60th birthday. Um, my cousin's birthday passed. Another one, like everybody, everybody's birthday is in June. Like everything is too much going on. So, yeah. Anyways, I guess after this, we'll get back to regular scheduled life. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I just had a quick, well, hopefully as quick as possible story time. So when I went back to, it was that video that I was talking about, you know, turning 40 and not understanding like, how am I where I'm at? This is not where I plan to be, but this is where I'm at. So um, I mentioned like a little bit about falling in love with Marcello, how I ended up with him and wasn't even really supposed to be with him or whatever. So I had this other boyfriend that I was going with at the time. Actually, I had two and I did not know they were twins. That's crazy, but I'm gonna tell that story. So how it ended up happening was one of the the um, guys I actually knew from school and I guess he was more popular, this and that. They He had the light eyes. Um, he was nice brown tone and stuff, very handsome and all the girls was like in awe of him. And back then, nobody paid me no attention. I got zero, zero attention. Well, somewhat towards the end of high school, I got a little bit of attention. But this guy here never would have paid me the time of day back then. So as I get out and I'm, it's hot girl summer back then for me, girl. <laughs> yes, it was hot girl summer. So, um, people that didn't pay me no attention started paying me attention. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't, like, this guy actually wants to talk to me. Uh, I have to think of a name for him because I can't put real names out there. Uh, let's see. Let's call him, I guess, we can call him DJ. Yeah, so DJ. We're gonna call him DJ. So he really wouldn't have went for me like back in school, but now, you know, so we were gonna go out on a date or whatever, hang out, whatever. Uh, I think I met him at the mall or something. He ran into me and yeah, girls look at cute. <laughs> so it was that, but then there was this other guy that around the hood, like I, I kind of worked in like, I worked in a grocery store like in the hood i didn't kind of live in a like hoodish like area back then um back then our area was still considered a really nice area so i didn't live in that area but i did um my aunt lived around there and i worked there i went in that neighborhood to go to work 
So it was this guy that, um, you know, remember I told you how my little coupon book used to be full of phone numbers and stuff and go out to eat, have fun. It wasn't like all that sexual stuff. Like back then we actually were able to have fun without having sex. <laughs> I don't know if people do that nowadays, but yeah, we used to do that back then. Um, so it was a guy that he came up in the store and he came up in the store and he, you know, seen me. Everybody wanted Cadillac back then. So um, he hollered at me. He was darker skin tone. He had these pretty eyes, though. He, and um, he was darker skin tone with pretty eyes or whatever. So he wanted to holler at me. And somehow me and him kind of, I guess we hit it off a little bit and we kind of started talking. So we were like somewhat boyfriend and girlfriend, though I was not really looking for a boyfriend. Okay, so I'm still casually dating. So we're going to call him. What can we call him? Dre. So DJ and Dre. That's what we're going to call them. So DJ is the one from school that wouldn't give me the time of day that finally did one day. <laughs> and Dre is the other one that is... um around the way just around the way whatever so dre he uh i guess i'm gonna call him a hustler um he was living that street life or whatever and you know i'm not really into that but i don't know i just always attract the bad guy i don't know the bad boys like they're attracted to me and I, I was always the goody, goody girl. <laughs> so Dre was kind of out there in the streets. Yeah, he was out there in the streets. So me and Dre started hanging out and we was doing pretty good and stuff like that. Meanwhile, there's this one situation where it was crazy. I think it was Mother's Day. I really think it was Mother's Day. So the thing was that Dre asked me to take him to the store. He was going to get something for his mother. I think some flowers or something like that. And he, I took him to, the, to his mother's house. And what was so crazy was, okay, I should have knew something was up. Because I was with DJ like maybe a week or so before and he had a cousin he was like oh this is my cousin i'm like oh okay i didn't know y'all was cousins or whatever so later when i go to take dre to go take his mother something for mother's day i see this cousin and i'm like oh okay <laughs> um cuz he seen me with DJ earlier <laughs> like the week before so now I'm like oh my gosh I'm hoping he doesn't say anything because I was just with DJ and I'm with Dre but anyway he comes to the mother's house and he's there to give his mother flowers or whatever so I'm sitting in the car he's like I'm gonna go run these flowers in for my mama girl the cousin Dre, DJ's cousin, Dre comes out and say, oh, the, the cousin approached me, which is so crazy. He's like, oh, I see you met my cousin. And I'm like, your cousin? How, he's your cousin? <laughs> okay, hold on now. Let me catch on. He's DJ's cousin. And he's Dre's cousin. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> so crazy. I'm just sitting there. Do you know that Dre comes out the house and dun, da, da, DJ comes out the house too? Do you know? 
So one comes in on this side of the car, like in the window, the other one's in the other side of the window. And I'm like, oh my God, I wanted to bury my head, like really just bury my head. And Dre is like, I mean, DJ, he's like, oh, whatever, whatever, Keita, how, how you going? You with my brother? And I'm like, brother? Brother? They're like, yeah, we're twins. We're twins. I'm like, hold on now. I never put two and two together. They is about the same height, one a little bit lighter, but they both got these pretty eyes. How, y'all twins, like, are you for real? And how... <laughs> You know that cousin is the one that told on me. He told, like, for real. <laughs> so, DJ is like, man, forget her. F that girl. F that girl, bruh. F that girl, bruh. And then um, Dre is like, no, no. Keita, we could work this out. We could work this out. And I'm like, at this point, I just got to get out of here. <laughs> that was crazy. But, yeah, that's how it started. So, at that point... Dre, I'm I'm sorry, I'm still getting them mixed up. At that point, DJ he decided he was like, uh uh, I'm I'm done. Forget that look. You know we were going on that date, but forget that. But um, Dre was like, man, we could work this out, Keita. We could work this out. So that's how our relationship kind of started out. I, You know, I didn't want anything serious because I had been hurt like several times at that point. Um, I was just, I believe I was 18. I would have been 18. Yeah, I was 18 years old. Now, soon after that, guess who I meet? You guessed it. Marcello. <laughs> And now Marcello, Marcello was always supposed to stay in the friend zone. Marcello was never supposed to be nothing more than friends with me. When I used to leave Marcello, I told y'all how I met him. If you didn't catch that, I'm going to link that, that um, video down in the description box. And that is how we met. <laughs> and it was never supposed to be nothing more. He was never supposed to get out the friend zone I was I was with Dre, you know, I was Dre's girl, and though, you know, so it ended up where I would be with Dre, but I would be rushing off, like our time together, I'll stop by and then I'll be trying to rush off, and it would be to hang with my friend Marcello, yes, hang with my friend Marcello. Dre was like, why are you, you come so quick? Like, you don't have no time to spend with me and this and that. And I just wasn't feeling, I don't know what it was about him. He was a cool guy, but he was living like that street life. And I don't really like that street street life like that, though I am attracted to the bad guy, I guess. Um, but I'm not into that street life. So, no, I couldn't deal with, you know, that hustling that he was doing or whatever. So... I meet Marcello and we're basically, we're friends. Basically, Marcello was so freaking fine. And I was afraid that he was going to have like girlfriends like everywhere, like coming from out the woodwork. So I didn't want to set myself up for that. So I was like, it'll be best if me and Marcello are just friends, just hang out, whatever. So this boy, <sighs> so I got... <laughs> Dre on this side and he's like why can't we spend more time but I'm over here spending all this time with my friend and Marcello really was my friend like when we would leave he would be like Keita can I get a hug and I'd be like no nah, bro giving him dap giving him a fist bump <laughs> I used to give him fist bumps and stuff before we left like we parted ways or whatever but yeah so I must stop that story right there because uh, it kind of gets crazy from there. I'm going with Dre and Marcello. I, I dropped the other twin. Well, the other twin dropped me. <laughs> so now I got one twin and Marcello. So um, I'll let you know how that turned out from there. But it was crazy. <laughs> It's your girl, Cadillac. It's your girl, Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs>